Hello everybody and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to demonstrate a set of features that are essential for mission critical applications. These features are bundled with the subscription edition. I'm going to demonstrate case monitoring, case visualization, error management and connect a live update. All of this will be based on this sample process diagram. This process called failing process will actually uh, fail at some point. I have a, a task called failing step which contains a set of connectors. Some of them will work, others won't work. I have a demo connector, in particular version 1.00 which is meant to fail on purpose. I'm going to run this process definition and we're going to see how we can handle it. Now I didn't spend too much time working on the first form so I'm just going to start it. Now we can ask ourselves, oh, where is my uh, task? I already have a couple of uh, cases going on with some other processes, but I don't have any task. I don't see my failed task. That's because I am an end user. So hopefully I have my two roles. I can switch and contact my administrator. Here the first thing we see is the case monitoring. Case monitoring will indicate that we have one failing case here and we're able to look at the case details sorted by process definitions. If you look at our failed process definition, we see we, we have one case in failure. We can do even better. We can look at case visualization and look at the process diagram for this particular definition and locate we have one process instance which is failed on this particular step. Now we can then look at the list of cases for the failing process, we only have one for now. We can look that we have already one task that is failed, continue to drill down, see that our failed task is failing step. And here we can see that we have our connectors. Some of them worked, some of them did not. And uh, there's actually one that is failed, that's our demo connector. Why has it failed? Well, we're going to look at the error details. Here we have a specific view that shows the stack trace and explains why the connector has failed. This is part of the error management. So here we have access to a clean error message with a detailed stack trace. This is our demo connector, which doesn't do anything again and it's supposed to fail. Now, imagine this could be uh, one of the out of the box connectors or one of your own connectors with more logic. And with this stack trace, you'll be able to quickly figure out what is wrong and assess the situation. Here, the, f the, the, the way we're going to work to fix this is just to update our connector using connector live update and replace this connector. To do that, I'm going to go back in my process definitions. I'm going to look at my failing process definition and I'm going to look at the details. This here displays my configuration of my failing process. I'm going to look at the connectors that are embedded in this particular process definition. I have two, two types of connector definitions that are embedded here. I have a demo connector and a Groovy script connector. The first one, the demo connector, which is the one that is of interest to us here, is packaged with implementation version 1.00, when we can see the package name and the class name of our connector. Here we see it's the failing implementation. So, we're going to use the connector live update here to replace this failing implementation with a working implementation of the same connector definition. So it's also going to be a connector demo connector, but this one will be another implementation, version 2.0, which is supposed to work. I have already prepared the code, so I already packaged my connector, I have a zip file. All I need to do is to open, edit this implementation and replace it with my working implementation. And that's it, I can save it. We now see that we have our demo connector version 2.00 with the working implementation. Now, I'm going to try to fix my error and try to re-execute our code. So I'm going to go directly to my tasks here, look at the fail tasks, the filter and quickly get my failing step. I'm going to go in the details of this particular task here. And I have two options thanks to error management. I can either skip this task or I can replay it. When I'm going to replay it, I can select the connectors I want to replay. Here I only have one connector which failed, so I'm going to replay this particular connector to make sure this now works. The task 
connector will be replayed with the new implementation. So this new implementation, of course, will work. All right. So I have replayed my task. The task is no longer visible in failed tasks and is supposed to go into pending tasks. Here it is. So I'm going to go back just to my user and I'm just going to complete my process looking back at my failed task and executing it. Oh, thanks for fixing the demo connector. So this concludes my demonstration. During this presentation, I have shown you the case visualization, the case monitoring, the connector live update, and all the error management features of the subscription editions. So thank you for having followed this.